We begin, though, with the DOJ special counsel, who has a criminal probe that has reached a key and familiar face today, Trump legal advisor Boris Epstein, who knows things about both the coup and the classified documents probes. We do know the feds have already previously seized his cell phone and that there's evidence which ties him to those plots to try to overturn the election or commit elector fraud as a pretense to get Mike Pence to somehow delay or throw the certification. We all lived through that on January 6th. Indeed, he admitted part of that when press right here on the beat. I was part of the process to make sure there were alternate electors for when, as we hoped, the challenges to the seated electors would be heard and would be successful per the 12th Amendment of the Constitution and the Electoral Count Act. Everything that was done was done illegally by the Trump legal team, by, according to, to the rules and under the leadership of, of Rudy Giuliani. That is the sound of a witness. He's talking to them today. A witness implicating himself and his boss, Giuliani. And as we've reported, Epstein may have known his conduct was basically busted in so many other receipts or documents or other people's testimony that he somehow thought he might try to get ahead of that and what he thought the feds or the public would eventually find out. Well, today, prosecutors may be asking questions about that and other activity. Epstein, we should note, is one of the longest-serving aides that Donald Trump has, dating all the way back to early 2016. This is from then. You can see him at Trump Tower heading in for meetings to all of the public advocacy he did for what was then seen as a long-shot Republican candidate. This is obviously a coordinated effort by the Clinton campaign and the media of course, to discredit Mr. Trump. The list will be put together by the Department of State and Department of Defense once he's president. He didn't leak one thing. There was a candidate who did speak about her intelligence briefings. That was in 2008, and that was Hillary Clinton. Oh, snap. So you remember how he was, and that's politics, and a lot of different candidates have their advocates. Sometimes they have law degrees or advisors as well who go out there. But this is more than just someone who did that public advocacy. Epstein did start out as a basically a young outsider in Donald Trump's orbit, but his tenacity was rewarded over time. You see him there. He made it all the way to the White House as a special assistant to the president. In that early period, he then took public roles on behalf of Trump in the 2020 election and was, again, part of that Giuliani legal team as well, which is why he's in more hot water than, say, a random campaign operative. Perhaps most pivotally, Epstein was seen right here in court as part of the team defending Trump from being imprisoned. A lot going on. Hard to believe it was just this month when he was part of Trump's proverbial legal dream team for that unprecedented and turned out to be lengthy arraignment in a New York City courtroom. He's there just one lawyer down. It's Trump being arraigned, Joe Takapina, the New York lawyer, and Boris Epstein, an out-of-state kind of presence there, coming up to advocate on that fateful day as Donald Trump very seriously faced a judge for a process that, for some people, can result in a conviction and prison time. So that's the context. Few people in Trump's orbit have made it from 2016 to 2023, whether that be as an operative, a witness, or as some critics might theorize, as a potential co-conspirator. We're talking about a player in the inner circle. There are no reports tonight yet about what questions were asked today. That's typical. We would not expect those leaks, although sometimes witnesses and their lawyers put out statements, and we report on that for you, just as we've heard from Mr. Epstein directly on this program. I can tell you the special counsel is, at a procedural level, triumphing where certain other probes have not. Smith, the DOJ special counsel here working for Attorney General Garland, has won new rulings forcing top Trump aides to testify, including the chief of staff and lawyers and others who have, at times, evaded testifying by bucking, for example, the January 6th committee. Those who were running, those who were silent, including Mr. Epstein at times, because he was silent when it came to going under oath before the committee, some of those people are now talking. 